Go back. Go, no, 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 no order. Go back. 56 items? Are you serious? I don't want 50, what? This would pretty much be the worst case scenario of how cumulative layout shift could impact a customer's web experience. Although not as extreme, the reality is that these shifts in page elements happen all the time, and it can be just as annoying when you're reading a long piece of content, when suddenly the page jumps and you can't find your spot. Have you ever had that happen to you? Well, Google is penalizing websites with these kind of loading issues. And we have seen firsthand how websites are being hit with declining rankings on Google. Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm David. And this is our third part in our three part series about the report that Google had introduced in 2020 and it was in May and it's called the Core Web Vitals Report, which you can see here on my screen. And as uh, so we covered uh, largest contentful paint, we covered first input delay. And today is the, to wrap everything up, it's the third metric that Google cares very deeply about that they built a report on, which is the cumulative layout shift. And so you were able to kind of see that firsthand. You know, every page, there's all sorts of different elements that are being loaded in. There's graphics, there's text, JavaScript, CSS. Now I'm probably losing some people. Um, as that's happening, sometimes like you'll be reading something and like you see it jump, you know. I've had that happen all the time. It's like if I'm reading a longer newspaper article or something like that, you have a spot and you're like, oh, where am I, you know? That's kind of annoying, but in the case from Amy, like, you know, it could be detrimental if all of a sudden like you want to hit go back and then now you purchase something, you know, for 500 bucks or whatever it is, right? Essentially, Google is really trying to encourage people, hey, you guys need to pay attention to this stuff. And they built a report on that. And so here in the Search Console uh, report or guidance page, you can see that Google is recommending that this, uh, the, the CLS, the cumulative layout shift, it should be under 0.1 seconds, okay? If you are having any kind of issues with rankings and traffic, one thing that you definitely wanna take a look at is this core Web Vitals report. You can find it in Search Console. Here in this particular example, there are no errors, but let me show you a screenshot of a uh, report from a customer that uh, did have some issues. And so this is what it would look like, is they, you pull up the Core Web Vitals report and you can kind of see the red, well, that means there's an issue with it, right? So um, this is where you would find information about URLs, individual pages that might have an issue with cumulative layout shift. So the bad thing is if you're already showing up here, that means it's too late. You potentially are already losing some traffic because Google is going to treat other pages that don't have this issue as better and it's going to give them a better ranking, right? So the question is, well, how can we prevent that? And for those of you who have already watched episode one and two, you're gonna know the answer to it. For those of you who don't, test. You have to test every single time you make any kind of updates to code, to plugins on your website. And our favorite tool that we like to recommend is from webpagetest.org. Uh, and so you can plug in all the information and um, here you can see this particular customer, we're actually working on it right now. Their cumulative layout shift is 0.36, it's too high. And so luckily, uh, there hasn't been any issue with being penalized and traffic and that kind of thing. And we're really trying to get ahead of that for every single page that we have for our customers. So use webpagetest.org. Um, we would even take a step further. There's other uh, tools that you can use as well. Another one is GT Metrics. So you need to really test, 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 especially when you're making any kind of updates. So all of this information that we shared in the last three episodes, I know that it's gonna be, that's very technical in nature, um, but it's important. And that's kind of the, the essence of why we started Marketing Essential is we're coming across some of these things and they do make them, they make a big difference. And we've had customers that, you know, they were position number one for over three years and it was a money driver for them and the keywords that they're ranking for. And sure enough, we find out that they had plummeted to position eight because of some of these issues and we don't want you guys to have to make the same mistakes. So webpagetest.org, test frequently, make sure that you familiarize yourself with those three metrics that are in the Core Web Vitals report um, and do check that out frequently. And if you, get, you guys liked what you heard from us and the tips were useful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for 
uh, episodes to come. Thanks for tuning in. Take care and bye.